All right, so it's time for me to warn you about your first quiz for English 3, and it's going to come from this particular chapter, and more specifically, from this particular section. Because I really want you to understand the difference and the types of evaluation that you can do. So if you go over to page 61, um, it says strategies for evaluating arguments. All of those bold things, right, those are things that you will be quizzed on. And you're going to be quizzed on them because as we move forward and as we begin creating rhetorical summaries, right, we're going to then have to begin to evaluate those rhetorical summaries and those arguments, right? And remember, it's not necessarily, we don't necessarily have to agree with something in order to say that the argument was good, right? Or that the argument was strong. And so this is, I think, one of the most important parts when you are approaching an evaluation of an argument about a topic you can even care less about. And so this type of tool set is going to be really useful out in the real world when you are encountering things that you don't necessarily want to do. You don't necessarily want to argue, but you are asked to look at because this job was assigned to you and so it's going to give you that tool set to take from okay i have to look at this i have to consider it and i have to evaluate it this is how i'm going to evaluate it and this is how i'm going to talk about it so making sure that you understand these strategies for e evaluating arguments is going to be really helpful for you not just in this class but beyond this class with real world applications think about what you're going to be doing this week in terms of creating right a resume on linkedin how are you going to present yourself how are you going to evaluate your own resume how do you think they're evaluating you and so by beginning to really understand how you can evaluate something then you can begin to say okay I've evaluated my own particular resume. Now I can go by and say, yes, I am biased towards myself. I think I am great. I, I need this job and I'm perfect for this job, but your resume may not necessarily show those strengths. And by evaluating that yourself and considering it and thinking of it like an argument, then you can go back and say, okay, here's where it's weak. Here's where I can get it better. Here is how I can further shape my own argument to make it stronger, much more effective, and achieve the goal that you want to achieve.